Hello and welcome to my channel, Reveal and Review, where today I have, we're going to do a frozen pizza review, and I have Newman's own frozen pizza uncured pepperoni. Uh, pepperoni is one of my favorite pizzas. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite kind of pizza is. Uh, usually when I go with the frozen ones anyway, sometimes I'll get some other stuff uh, when, I, when I go to a pizza place. But pepperoni is usually my favorite in these uh, frozen pizzas. I've never had Newman's Own. Let's get a thumbnail out of the way real quick. All right, I should be able to work with that. So, uh, like I said, I've never had this Newman's Own brand before. I eat frozen pizzas all the time, but I usually get Tombstone, which I'll be doing a review of soon, I believe. But this is my first time trying this Newman's Own, so I went with the pepperoni. And one thing I liked about it, oh, I should mention, too, that I got it at Kroger, and the price was $8.99 which is a little bit more expensive than the, the ones that I usually get. I think the ones I usually get are more along the lines of $7.99. But it does say 100% of profits help kids. 100% of profits to help kids. So you got to love that. I'm not sure exactly which kids he's talking about because there's a lot of needy kids in the world. But uh, maybe we'll read the back of the box here and find out. But it says whole milk mozzarella. It uh, looks like a pretty thin crust. It looks like you can tell by the picture it's got some seasoning on it there. Some basil or something. So let's check it out here. Uh, it says, 100% of profits to help kids. Newman's own foundation continues. Paul Newman's commitment to use all the money that it receives from the sale of this product to support children, their families, and their communities. Learn more at newmansown.org. So you can go to newmanzone.org if you want to learn more about that, I guess. Uh, let's just read. Uh, oh, it says here it's got, uh, apparently this kid here, his name is Clayton. And uh, let me, I can read his stories on the, on the box here. Meet Clayton. When Paul Newman started the Serious Fun Children's Network of Camps, he had kids like Clayton in mind. Born with cerebral palsy, Clayton gets around with a walker and wheelchair. Serious fun camps are designed with adaptions so that nothing is off limits for kids with different abilities. At first, Clayton's parents were nervous. We hadn't left him anywhere overnight other than the three months he was in the hospital before he came home. Uh, now I lost my place here. Uh, says Clayton's dad, Bonsoir. The first time we went to camp, Mom Aby adds, he literally, <coughs> he literally got there, waved by, and we were like, What? We were stressing the whole time, but it was amazing for him. They don't judge any of us, and they know what we need, says Evie. I think that's what makes all the difference. So that's a pretty cool story. Uh, it's got a little bar, little uh, scan code there. You can scan to, uh, to learn more about Clayton's story if you want to do that. A uh, little bit of nutrition information. There are three servings per container, uh, 370 calories, uh, cholesterol is 45 milligrams, sodium 950 milligrams. Not sure if that's good. It sounds like a lot. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of the box. It says preheat oven to 425 degrees. Already working on that. Place uh, pizza directly on oven rack. It says for best results, do not bake pizza on a cookie sheet. And that's how I always bake pizzas is on a cookie sheet. So I guess we're going to see how that works out. The crust might not be as crisp, and I'll take that into consideration in my review. Uh, it says bake 10 to 12 minutes, let the pizza cool for several minutes, then enjoy. So I'm going to take this out of the box and put it on the cookie sheet. I'll show you how it looks before it goes into the oven, and then we'll cook it, and I'll show you what it looks like as it comes out of the oven, and then we'll do a taste test, and that shall be that, as the kids would say. All right, I'll be back. All right, here's what it looks like before it goes into the oven. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it's got looks like it's got lots of seasoning on it, lots of pepperoni on it. So that's what it looks like before it goes into the oven. In the oven it goes, and we will be back in about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, we're back. It's been about uh, 11 minutes in the oven, 
and it looks pretty good and I don't know how the crust is going to be like I said because I cooked it on a cookie sheet and uh, said not to but that's about 11 minutes in the oven and that's about as done as I want it looks like the cheese is kind of starting to to cook away or something so we'll see how it is I'm going to cut it up put it on a plate and I will be right back with you all right and we are back this has been in the oven like I said for about 11 minutes uh, here is the plate that is the whole pizza by the way and one thing that uh, I will say is it's a little smaller and the crust seems a little bit thinner than the tombstone that I normally get but there's the piece right there there's the piece with the most pepper that ended up with the most pepperonis on it I did scoot them around a little bit to even out the distribution because they always get jostled around and you know in the shipping and all that so there's the piece of pizza and the crust I had my doubts about how the crust was going to turn out but the crust looks like it turned out pretty good considering I cooked it on a cookie sheet and it said not to I'm not sure why it said not to but the crust seems crisp it does kind of look like the cheese cooked away a little bit and I, like I said I only cooked it it said 10 to 12 minutes and I left it in there about 11 minutes it looks cooked just about right to me. I don't like the crust real dark on mine. I like it kind of light. I like it crispy, but light. So let's take a bite and see how it goes. One more bite and I'll give you my thoughts on it. I take that back. Let me try the crust. Alright, a drink of the trusty Pepsi to cleanse the palate, and I'll give my review. Alright, so what does it taste like? Well, it's a frozen pizza to start with. I had kind of high hopes, because I figured this would be, oh, Newman's Own, it's going to be some kind of gourmet thing. And you can see the seasoning on there a little bit. I don't know if you can see the little green specks. I don't know if that's parsley or whatever that is. I don't know anything about cooking or spices. But the crust the crust was crisp. There was no problem there with put, putting it on a cookie sheet. But you can see the cheese seems to have cooked away quite a bit. And other than the pepperoni and a little bit of that, whatever that green seasoning is on there... The pizza is just bland. There's no sauce on it. There's no, the cheese is bland. There's no sauce underneath the cheese. You can see there's no, I mean, you can see there's no sauce on it uh, underneath the cheese. So I, I was expecting a little bit of, of something on there, but it's just real bland. And the pepperonis are, they're okay. I mean, they taste like pepperoni. So when you hit one of those, you do get a little bit of spice from the pepperoni. But other than that, there's no sauce on it. A lot of the cheese cooked away. Now the crust is kind of crisp. The crust isn't bad. It's real thin. But it's that's not bad. That part of it's not bad. But it's lacking in the sauce and the cheese. There's just not that much flavor to it. And... It's a little bit smaller, like I said, it's like a dollar more, which I guess, you know, the profits are going to help the kids, so that that's a good thing, you can't argue with that, but it's a smaller pizza than what I normally get, and 
I usually, I'll eat half of, when I get a tombstone pizza, just a frozen one for like $7.99, I'll cut it in half, and I'll eat half one night, and then half and half the next night, so I get two meals out of it, and this is so thin, I feel like I'm going to eat the whole, the whole pizza at one time, <clears throat> so I'm only going to get one meal out of it, so it's kind of expensive, uh, it's lacking in the sauce and the cheese, pepperonis are fine, the crust is fine. And it does have a little of that seasoning on there that you can taste just a little bit. But overall, I'm going to have to go with that it's bland. Uh, I think overall, I'm going to give it... I think out of 10, I'm going to give it a 5. It just didn't do it for me. I'm not sure. I may try other kinds in the future. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see me uh, review other kinds of this Newman's Own uh, Pizza. I may try some different kinds and see if they're any better, if the, the other kinds are, you know, have more flavor to them. But I just wasn't real impressed with this. So 5 out of 10, that's my rating. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate every view that I get from every person, no matter where you are. I appreciate you watching. And uh, I'd like to uh, invite you to stop by my channel. I have lots of other uh, food reviews, lots of drink reviews, a whole playlist of pizza reviews, at which this will be added to. So stop on by my channel. I'm sure you'll find something that you will enjoy. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Everyone have a good night.